Today I'm unboxing Draculaura Scaradise Island. Let's go! Hello and welcome to Dolls Unbox, where I unbox dolls and do doll makeovers. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's unbox this Draculaura. It's a very simple packaging and I do like the design of the Scaradise Island logo here with the bats, the skelet bats. And at the back we have all the other ghouls. I don't get the guide dolls because I simply just don't like them, but the other three I did get. Let's open this a box up. There she is. Okay, let's take a good look at this doll. I do like the overall aesthetic of her. She looks very summery and ready to jump in the pool. Hopefully with enough SPF 500, because that's what she came with and also a tropical juice it's pink and it has bat wings on the side with a lemon or cherry and lemon and cherry slice and a straw and of course some bat sunnies heart shaped and a bat bag with a tiny tassel that ooh, can be taken off there we go the bag is like a knitted bat Draculaura herself, she's articulated at the neck, not around the chest line, but she is articulated in the shoulders, elbows and hands. The hips can move and the knees. But yes, with these dolls, do they call them budget dolls? They're not articulated just at the waistline there. She is wearing a very floppy, open pink sun hat with a heart bat on the top there. I think that's removable if you wanted to. She has spiderweb shaped earrings with a star, a crop top with bat wing embellishment around the shoulders and the waist there. And there is a spiderweb pattern that's white and goes all around on a pink background. And her bikini shorts are that same pattern. This is a wrap and I'm just trying to figure out how that comes off. And this is made of bat sun and spiderweb fabric. It closes with Velcro and it has a tiny little bow as decoration there. It's very thin fabric and it's not hemmed it's just singed around the, the edges so if that is played with a lot i might see that fraying um, yeah and also the velcro will probably fray it as well so be careful with that this is draculaura in her bikini and all the pieces velcro at the back there she has some very cute shoes they are made out of a spider web on the sides and the back there. And there is a strap at the top of her toes with hearts in it. And around her ankle, there's another strap with hearts with a heart buckle and bat wings. And the wedge is a heart. So this is a very cute doll. She is a budget doll, like I said. I paid $32 for her here in Australia. And... I think it is a little bit steep when you think about it, but it is a monster high doll, so what can you say, right? Let's have a look at her makeup and her hair. She has two yellow streaks, two different kinds of yellow streaks on her uh, eyelids. It looks like eyeshadow, yes. She has yellow and salmon pinkish eyeshadow that goes around the eye and underneath the lower lash line and then just at the brow she has some shimmer looks a bit like pearlescent kind of shimmer she has a pink lip and a little black heart on her left cheek for her hair i'm going to detach the hat her hair is in a long ponytail there's not much pink in her hair but 
it's mainly black and that's different from what we have seen before. I do like this though. It suits her very well. And her hair is super, super soft. There is a little bit of shedding, but not much. I don't know how much shedding there will be if we take the ponytail out. And she can probably do it with a restyle because just the ponytail is not going to cut it, is it? And then we have her hat here, which is very flexible and floppy. The hat kind of sits on her head and you just display her. And she looks really, really cute. Like I said, her bag, the dangle is detachable. It is a pink tassel with a little bat wing element there. Sunny's fit on her face quite well, I think. Because her hair is in a ponytail, it's a bit hard to maneuver on the side there. There we have it. Then of course we have the drink and the SPF that came in this pack. I'll give you my final doll rating. I think with her overall aesthetic, they hit the nail on the head and she looks absolutely summery. I get summer vibes from this doll. So I'm going to give that four and a half skeletts. Her hair and makeup, I love it. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, so I'm going to give that four skeletts. Her hair is amazing. It's super soft. Her clothes are adorable, very Draculaura. Could it be more exciting? Probably. I'm going to give that three and a half skeletts for her clothing. And her shoes are just too cute. Well, yes, this is my unboxing of Draculaura Scaradise Island. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.